don't really think Croydon is a safe place only because I've lived there for quite long and I've experienced some stuff that's not very good around there and it can be quite dangerous when it's like night time and walking around the central bit is a bit scary. Um, in terms of if I feel safe from crime in the Croydon Borough, um, honestly I don't because um, Every time we walk um, walk through Croydon High Street or anywhere, there's always groups of people and if you look at them, they look at you funny and then sometimes people approach you just for looking at people. So on that basis, I don't feel safe. And I mean, other than Croydon already having a name for crime and whatever, um, I, don't, I don't feel safe, no. I was born in Croydon and lived in Croydon for many years. Um, I worked in Croydon, my mum worked in Croydon, my sister worked in Croydon, one of my daughters was born in Croydon. So I feel as safe, if not safer, in Croydon than most London boroughs. With Croydon, um, a lot of people don't feel safe due to how the media portrays like Croydon. I mean, especially after sort of like of my crime and the riots, um, more and more people are like afraid of Britain. sanctions um, for actually causing a crime, I think committing a crime, I think um, the law should be even stricter so that if anyone's thinking of doing something bad like stealing from a shop or whatever, there's more of a consequence which will stop them, maybe make, make, make them think twice about doing it. I think Yes, it's the short answer. We can and prevent how? gang crime. Uh, I think we're like with any other crime, I think you need to look at the root cause. So if we go back to, instead of taking the perpetrators of these crimes and locking them up without a key or without rehabilitation, I think we should possibly look at the root cause of why they're committing the crimes and try and solve it at the root of the problem. So I believe that statistics say that a lot of crime happens um, due to poverty, or to neglect, or lack of education. So, if it was a level playing field, maybe there would be less crime. Session, but to try and prevent crime, 
it isn't just like the individual like committing crime, it's also the government and the authorities that need to figure out a way to sort of prevent crime. Advice I'd give is just to stay, stay in education really because it would help you find out what you want to do and nothing good can really come from being in a gang I don't think and it puts you and your family in danger if you are in one. So. Um, the advice I would give to people in gangs is that um, there's no need for it. I don't know why, what, I mean, I'm, I've never been, I've never had experience in a gang, um, but I just don't understand what, what you get out of it. Like, go and play a game or something, like, get another hobby. Who are involved in gang activity or violent crimes for that matter, 93% of them have been abused as children or they witnessed a caregiver or parent being abused. That means children right now who are five, six, or seven who may be uh, abused or neglected, they are more likely or more prone to join gangs. So part of it is looking at that early childhood, empowering parents, educators, doctors, kid, uh, people who are involved in those young people's lives to ensure that we have safe environments for children. I think it's a bit hard. Um, I've never been in a gang. But in terms of advice for anybody who's under pressure to do something they didn't want to do, and I'm presuming that a lot of the, the people who are members of gangs don't feel like they have a choice. I mean, I think we have to be clear with what the definition of a gang is. Um, different people perceive things as different gangs. We have 11 plus guys together kicking a ball in a football field. That's called a team. If we have 11 guys sitting on the road because they've got nothing else to do, no leisure centres or youth clubs are open, we somehow seem that we can call them a gang. And sometimes they're not gangs. I mean, I'm, there are a lot of gang activity. I think what we need to do is offer those young people something to do to deter them from joining gangs. Um, that's sort of tricky. I mean, I would say that it's probably not the best option. Like, okay, it's, yeah, it's hard, but it's best to, like, try and sort of focus more on helping, helping, like, helping, well, helping things instead of, like, making them worse. But it's, that's quite a tricky one. I saw um, a group of people steal a bottle of wine from a car wash before. Um, that was actually the off day. Um, I, if I was, I don't know. I could have, I could have, um, I could have told someone about it or whatever. But as I was walking in the shop, they were they were walking out, and the alarms didn't go off. Um, I mean, come to think of it now, I feel really bad that I didn't actually say anything. So. Um, I apologise for that co-op. To be honest, I've seen the old boys behave, but I wouldn't say gang and violence as well. No, I haven't. I have, and there was no way you could prevent it because, as I said, they come across a bit intimidating and it's not really safe for you as a person, but you could call the police, I guess. I think as a local community we should maybe offer a sort of community service where people that are in gangs or feel like they are, no I think people that are in gangs should be able to go to a place where they can all talk about what they want to do and so they don't feel like they have to join a gang and it can help bring the young people together but in a better way rather than them on the streets and stuff like that. Um, 
What do I think, um, as a community, we can do to prevent any more crimes from happening and make Croydon a safer place? Personally, I think that, as I said before, the government um, mainly just lay down firmer laws, make it, put out posters, let people know that they're being watched and the crimes are getting seen on camera and something's changing and hopefully the more advertised, like get it in the local newspapers and just advertisement about it, let, it, let this crime be known and um, hopefully that will stop people from, um, from doing it. If you talk about young people involved in crime, I think it's about education. I think young people need uh, stuff to occupy their time, opportunities for their future, and some positive input. I think if you offer at least those three things there, you know, something to do, something to do with recreation, but most of all, build young people's self-esteem that they won't feel the need to get involved in this kind of activity. Well, I do, I don't think it's, I mean, okay, yeah, you did sort of point, like put the blame to the government, but also, Sometimes the reason why people go into crime is because, well, they're labelled as criminals and therefore instead of go deciding to go against that label, they decide to follow it and maybe to try and stop crime, we could try and stop looking at labels. Some people that are, are in gangs don't particularly want to be in gangs because of course I think maybe we should have um, safe places for them. You will feel the full force of the law. And if you are old enough to commit these crimes, you are old enough to face the punishments. And people should be in no doubt that we will do everything necessary to restore order to Britain's streets and to make them safe for the law abiding.